Hi. This is going to be a general love really reading. <laughs> I can't talk today. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Libra. Hi, Libra. <laughs> again, we're keeping the camera above because it's 3 a.m. and I don't have a bra on again, so <laughs> don't judge me. All right, so here we go. We're going to go straight into it. Um, the decks I'm using for you today, Libra, are um, my Light Sears Tarot, which is this one, and the Love Oracle by Simply Spiritual. Um, Romance Angels deck and Oracle of the Unicorns. So let's just get right into it, Libras, and see what's going on for July for your love life. All right. <laughs> Epic fail already. I can't even shuffle. Hold on. The stack is very stiff, so I'm just going to cut it into like three. All right. One second. All right, I just had to center myself a little bit. Okay, we're reading now for the sign of Libra, angels, archangels, spirit guides, ancestors, and higher self. What do our Libras need to know right now for their highest good, for their love life, for the 1st of July? What can you tell us for Libra? For the month of July, for their highest good, about their love life right now. Okay, I'm going to cut these. And then we're going to read. All right, one more time. All right. What does Libra need to know? Ooh, right away we got strength. Eight of swords. So you got big time Leo energy coming in. So for some of you, your person is a Leo because um, you got the fire sign, Leo. Eight of swords, five of wands. Ooh, there is some heavy energy of healing. Okay, so we got um, number eight, which is strength. So, for some of you, your person could be a fire sign, a Leo. Um, honestly, there's this energy of you're going to need your strength. I feel like right now, I don't know what's going on in your love life, Libra, we, but we got a lot of cards of, um, there's a lot of shadows going on right now. So, your first card was this, which was strength, Leo energy. Um, but for some of you, I feel like honestly, you're having to call on your inner strength because you got eight of swords, which is feeling like you're trapped in something. So, excuse me. Some of you feel like you're trapped in a relationship that is not healthy. And that was confirmed by the five of wands, which represents fighting. I mean, this could be other people fighting for your attention, but it, honestly, it feels like there's an energy of discontent because the next card we got is the five of pentacles if you look here there's a woman she's standing outside of a door sorry i'm not trying to flick you off <laughs> she's standing outside of a door there's you know the keys right here next to the door and yet she's not using it she feels feels like she's too sad there's also this energy, Libra, that I'm getting of maybe you have a lot of suitors right now. There's a lot of people that are vying for your attention, but you're not really interested in any of them. You're just kind of doing your own thing. And I feel like it's because you're doing lots of healing. Because look, you got, you know, you're waiting by the door. You do have the key. It's right here, but you don't want to use it right now. And it could be because of this. You're trapped in your own thoughts. But honestly, I feel like it's because of this energy right here. Four of 
Swords. Four of Swords. Yes, Four of Swords. Okay, so right side up, it's um, I think it's like I can't remember. It's, um, anyways, it doesn't matter because it's in reverse. So in reverse, the Four of Swords always means healing. Oh, Four of Swords right side up is like rest and meditation, relaxation. When it's reversed, it usually means um, that you are healing. So, I feel like you're just doing a lot of healing. You're wrestling a lot of your inner thoughts right here. And so, you're not really interested in this energy of fighting anymore or the energy of the suitors that are coming in, which it looks like they're coming in pretty hot. So, there's a lot of fire here. Um, a lot of people vying for your attention, but you're just kind of doing your own thing because... You know, you're healing right now. All right, so I pulled one more card. Can we get an outcome, please? King of Cups, Nine of Wands. Okay, so for sure, I feel like Libras, once you are um, done healing, you definitely have a strong masculine energy coming in. You got King of Cups. Um, now this doesn't necessarily have to be a masculine, but it is a masculine energy. So, but basically what the King of Cups represents is someone who is very much in tune with their emotions, although they're not necessarily showing you their emotions. So your person could be very King of Cups energy, which means they have very, very strong feelings for you, Libra. They do. They just don't always show you. They kind of float on top of the water. They're very calm and cool, sort of calm, cool, collected. Um, they don't really show all of the emotions that are, you know, running around in their hearts. They just kind of play it off like, mm, you know, but if you use your intuition, you could probably figure out this person has really strong feelings for you. King of Cups, they do have, It's it's a feeling of, they feel everything and that's the reason they have to be so calm cool and collected because if they don't hide their emotions then their emotions threaten to overtake them there's also a fish on here so your person could be there's let's see one there's two fish on here so your person might be very abundant right now at this time or they're working on abundance there's also a crown and it's floating on his head. See, there's a fish on his necklace. And then there's a fish here. There is a crown floating on his head. So he's very tapped in. It's It represents the crown chakra um, being lit up. And then you got nine of wands. So you're very quickly getting tired of, you know, the, the king of cups not coming forward. <laughs> Let me see if I can pull one more card for you and get an outcome. Oh, very good. I'm glad I pulled one more card to figure out what was going to happen. You are a little sick of the energy, but if you just hang in there, Libra, look what's next. It's the sun. It's the happiest card in the deck. So it's going to work out for you. And once again, Leo energy. It's the sun. And we are in the Leo portal, so you never know. All right, let's do the love oracle next for you, Libra. All right. What do our beautiful Libras need to know right now? Angels, archangels, spirit guides, ancestors, higher self. I am the clearest channel for source messages. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. I feel like my hair is not parted right today. I don't know why, but let me just distractions I know just like parting it with my finger here <laughs> there it's a little bit better I suppose there we go I am so shiny I just put powder on it and I'm still shiny it's just my light body I'm just gonna go with that okay angels archangels spirit guides ancestors and higher self what do we got for our Libras what do they need to know? Can we get cards confirming what I was seeing? Let me know what's going on. Let's get further, um, further information for Libra. 
All right, we got single finances, mask, there it is, and fear. Okay, so here's the clarifications for you, Libra. Right now, you guys are single. Most of you are single. Because your person is dealing with this. Finances, they're wearing a mask because they are in their head about their fear. So I told you, there's, I'm still picking up this energy, Libra, of your person is hiding a lot of their emotions. They, You might have um, an idea of the deep feelings that they feel for you if you're intuitive. But for the most part, they kind of keep you at a distance. And I feel like it's because of this. They're too focused on their career. Either that or... Their career is not going as well as they hoped it would. And so they're working at building them their empire and building themselves up. But this is why they wear this false mask of pretending like they don't have those strong emotions for you. Because they're stuck in this energy of fear. Let's get one more card. Can we get an outcome please for Libra? Social media. See, they're stalking you heavy, Libra. All right, let's get, so for some of you, they might reach out to you on social media. Can we get an outcome for Libra, please? I'm just going to cut these really quick. And then we're going to see. Ooh, so I asked for an outcome, and this was what came out next, Libra's family. So somehow or another, this is going to turn into in your favor and you're going to get that happily ever after in the family that you so deserve, Libra. And for some of you, I feel like it's going to be an extended family. So some of you have children already with other people. All right. Let's do the Romance Angel deck. We'll do the Unicorn deck and we'll call it a reading, Libra. Beautiful energy. All right. Can we get some cards for our Libras, please? Can we get three cards for our Libras, please? Okay. Oh, I turned my air off so that I can, you guys can hear me and stuff, and I am sweating my butt off now. All right. All right. So we got three cards. We got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Now, it says new love, and it could be new love for some of you, but I feel, honestly, this feels to me, with the other cards that came out, it feels like this, it's the same person. That's what it feels like to me. And it feels like they are going to come at you with a new type of love, a new effort. Um, see? And I, as I'm saying that, the next card is make the effort. They're going to make some effort to come towards you. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. So if you are a cross watcher and you're watching for your Libra, your person is a Libra and you're thinking whether or not you should pursue this person. Yes, you should make the effort because I feel like you want to make that, that um, next step. You want to make the effort towards your beautiful balanced Libra. And the third card we have is playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirits of fun to shine. So when this person, and I say, it, for some of you, yes, it could be new love. But it feels like the same energy um, that I'm picking up on. I feel like when your person does come back, it's going to be with renewed love and interest. There's going to be lots more playfulness. And they're going to put in way more effort to pursue you this time. It's not going to be the same fuckery that they came with last time, Libra. <laughs> All right. Maybe they're actually going to, you know, get the balls or the um, whatever to come forward and actually tell you how they feel instead of messing around. About damn time, right? <laughs> All right. Whoops. What the fuck? All right. Last card for our beautiful Libras. What can you tell me for our beautiful scales? Let us know what our beautiful Libras need to know about their love life for the beautiful month of July. 
July is almost over, so this is probably going to be <clears throat> the end of July or beginning of August is the energy I'm picking up on heavy. Okay. And I'm sorry I got your readings out so late. I've been house hunting like a mug. All right. Nature. Ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature. And connect with the elements. So it's time to go out in nature, our beautiful Libras. Connect. Ground. This is going to help you to tune into your love. You know what they say. You get to hear your thoughts and probably um, if you have a telepath telepathic connection with your love, you'll be able to hear their thoughts more clearly. All right. And then it says anger. Safely express. Can we just look at that card again? It's gorgeous. Anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. So it's okay to express yourself in your anger, Libra. If your partner is getting you upset, it's okay to express yourself in a positive way and say, hey, I don't like this. And I pulled one more card for you. The last card we got is compassion. See, you can show your anger, your anger and do it in a compassionate way. And your person... Um, has to listen because your feelings are valid whether or not they are valid to your person they're valid to you and you have every right to feel the emotions that you feel all right so we have compassion be gentle with yourself forgiveness will set you free and see the light in yourself and others so this is about shining your light libra um, it's going to draw your person closer to you. Show some compassion because right now I feel like your person may be going through a bit of a moment of fear. There's some blocks. They're healing a lot of trauma, especially if you are a twin flame or a twin soul and you are um, a divine feminine. The divine masculines right now are going through a massive upheaval. Um, the new energies of ascension with this Leo portal. And yes, we have made so many leaps and, um, you know, wonderful progress. And yet, you know, some of the divine masculines are still struggling as we all are. So have a little compassion for your partner. And most importantly, Libra, be gentle to yourself and give yourself the love that you deserve. All right. So that's going to conclude your reading. Um, it was a good reading, Libra. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, I um, am hosting a workshop, a healing workshop with Steph Brat 27 and Stephen Rock 3311. Um, it's going to be three days online, August 13th, 14th, and 15th. Yes, 13th is going to be Friday the 13th. So we're going to transmute that beautiful energy and have tons of fun. If you'd like to join us, the price is 111. So $111 and you get all three of us healers for three days and we're going to heal with you and learn with you. We're all going to do it together. As you know, we're all in this together and we would be so honored if you joined us. Uh, go ahead and message one of us on Instagram and we'll give you the deets. It's going to be online through Zoom. So we're all set, Libra. Thank you and I love you.